Always want to be better, you know. Um, but I think of the year I've had to, to get the win, and I didn't really execute that race how I wanted to. And and um, but I'm pleased. I've just got to say I'm pleased because. I mean, like you said, you came into the race, um, well, the competition with injuries. Talk me through those dark times and how what inspired you to get through it to even get out there and do what you've done. Um, a lot of support from a lot of people because there were really dark times, and what people don't really un sort of understand is that when you get back from something like a Paralympics and you go back to normal life and 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 you are just the normal person who has to go and do the shop um, it, it, emotionally it's really hard and quite a few athletes really struggled after Rio and there were some dark times and a lot of friends are uh, ringing me up every day every day my friends would make a point of ring me every day just to ask me if I was all right how my day went coming around for a cup of tea and it it, it, it was hard and it, I didn't really see the light till probably maybe May this year. And um, so, you know, to somebody else going through similar type of injuries and similar things, what advice would you give them? Uh, follow your rehab plan. Because I did a thing where I was so eager to get back because I was worried that I wasn't going to be ready for London that I came back too early and injured again. So I knocked myself out for three months. So listen to the professionals get a good team around you because they're going to support you when you're when you're fit or when you're broken and um, and thank god I've got friends and family and coaches that that are brilliant and look after me very well I think we've got to keep it going we've got to keep this momentum going um, because I was just saying that London seems to be the only place right now where people get behind para sport it's not happening in the rest of the world and that needs to change and I don't understand why it's not happening maybe it's just more more media coverage um, and, and getting people on board and following the stories because we can't let it stop here and I, and I do fear sometimes that it, it will and, and, and I think um, you know even if we got the world's back here in 2019 I mean we can host a really good event by the looks of it so